<laughs> hey y'all and welcome to my channel y'all today i came to talk to y'all i will not be before y'all long i gotta finish getting dressed but y'all they demonetized my channel again sexual gratifying content and i'm going to be showing y'all the video of what they be saying so if y'all don't see me on youtube it's because I'm trying to get this stuff figured out. I gotta whip my hair. I just did my makeup. I'm not done getting dressed yet. But, y'all, the lighting is just... Out of there. Y'all, I'm not done getting dressed yet. But, yeah, y'all, I'm going to be showing y'all the video. Like, I'm all over the place right now because my spirit is not just crush but it's like i'm more disappointed than anything because y'all know that i've been doing what i'm supposed to be doing like keeping my content clean but for some reason they're steady laboring my channel as sex and sexual gratif gratifying content i'm going to show y'all everything that i'm talking about so that y'all can have a clue i gotta finish getting dressed and I'll come back whenever I have time to really sit down and talk to y'all. Right now, I have a house full of people. I'm trying to talk quick because I got them being quiet so that I can hurry up and do this video. So, yeah. Just watch this video. And I'm just let y'all know how I feel and stuff like that. Okay. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm, like, I'm low tolerance for the BS, like, all that. I feel like I'm getting falsely, like, falsely accused or falsely named. Like, you can say anything, but sex and sexual uh, gratifying content, like, come on now. I'm not telling nobody how to do sexual things. I'm not doing none of that, so... For them to label me as like such a thing is ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. You know, like I know what I've been doing on my channel. And think about it, I haven't even been doing YouTube for a year. When I first reached 1K, I was told that I had to get review for further um, to see you know, to um, give them um, new content. I guess my content wasn't um, with the community guidelines, which is I agree with that because I didn't know at first. And um, I was showing, like, I was turning around or whatever. You could see my butt or whatever. I stopped doing that. Okay. And then I had got reviewed. They accepted me to be not monetized or whatever like that. I I was doing good. I was still doing good. And then not even, I want to say two months or I want to say a good two months ago, they just took my monetization away because um, they say the content was graph, uh, sexual gratification, which is I had a twerking video on my channel and a lingerie video and all of that. I erased all those videos, my twerking videos, my lingerie videos, even the videos who they're, that they were saying not suitable for monetization. I went head on and deleted those too because they emailed me and then even informed me on which videos to delete. So I just went on a guest deleting, probably deleted some videos that didn't even need to be deleted. But I deleted them because they was like not suitable. They either had age restrictions on it. I deleted those. The ones who was like not suitable for all advertisements, I deleted those. So 
So all of my recent videos that was on my channel was money, like, like was all monetized, you know, um, accepted, like appropriate. Like I had green, you know, the um, the green money sign mean you get all your videos are monetized. The one with the yellow one mean that um, it's not suitable for all as advertisements advertisers and the red one is you're just not gonna get no ads or nothing on those videos so all of my recent videos since i've since i got um accepted back for the monetization or whatever like that they um all had the green thing i had one video which is was this recent video that i did um a makeup look with some red um sparkly lips that video had got a yellow dollar sign so that means that i wasn't um able like it was saying that it wasn't suitable for our ever for our advertisement our advertisers so i had um requested to get a review because they say that um the the ones who um um detect if your video suitable for ads is an automatic thing like it's like a robot but when you get it reviewed it's an actual person that'll review your video and if it's suitable they'll put it um monetized and if it's not suitable they'll leave it as is like not not suitable i'm going to show y'all a clip of me getting all of my um videos that i ever posted they always put the yellow thing on there and then when i click it to get reviewed again i always they always say good news your video has been approved to get monetized like all that type of stuff like that's what they say your video is suitable for our advertisement y'all they do this for every single last one of my videos like every single last one of my videos so if you want a person over youtube to review your videos all you got to do is press review so if y'all don't see what this say all of this say youtube videos your YouTube video is suitable for our advertising. Your video is suitable for our advertising. So the ones that say limited or no uh no ads, I just went ahead on and deleted those. But it, it don't matter what I post, it can be a get ready with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just showing y'all my outfit, my makeup of the day, you know, like doing my makeup on camera. And they'll be put not suitable for ads. I'm be like, what have I done in this video? So I um get that review. I get it. Y'all gonna see every video and the ones that that saying not suitable i deleted those they're they no longer on my channel so now they're um labeling me as sexual grat sexual gratifying content like that shit like y'all that stuff irks my nerves like so much like a person can't help how they look a person can't help how they come on to people like i'm a gemini they say gemini is naturally flirtatious or whatever like that they say we flirt and don't even know so if i'm seeming sexual some i'm probably seeming sexual from how the way i'm talking right now like and i'm just talking like but it's just really irks my nerves because you can label me as anything else like i curse too much or anything on there don't label me as sexual gratifying content because i'm trying on bathing suits or lingerie or something like that like it's i don't seen people on youtube that actually you know like showing you how to have a you know i'm not gonna even get into that but i done seen real sexual gratifying content on youtube I done seen YouTube couples, like, they be having their boyfriend rating their um, bathing suits or their lingerie or their clothes or whatever like that. And if they look good and their boyfriend be grabbing on a grabbing their booty, like, all that type of stuff. And they be having ads and stuff in their videos. But when it comes to me, I'm on here by myself, like, and I'm labeled as sexual gratifying content. Like, come on, like. For example, 
I love them to death. Y'all know Neek and King. Nikwa and King or whatever. She fine as him. Like she thick than a bitch. Like she fine. Or whatever like that. Like he stay grabbing on her booty. She stay twerking a little bit. And she got way more like butt than me. Way more. But I guess because they're a um, known couple or whatever like that. It don't matter. Like it just be getting on my nerves. Not just them. Like all the big YouTubers. Like they be doing the same thing. And they don't, you see ads in there, but I guess I'm not making YouTube enough money for them to care about me even existing to be a YouTuber or whatever like that. But, you know, this is just my own assumptions, my own opinion or whatever like that. I don't know how they feel or whatever like that. But I feel like I'm getting falsely accused for some stuff that I'm not doing. Now, at first, I can agree with them. Like, I'm an honest person. At first, I couldn't agree with them. Like, my content was, you know, revealing a little bit too much. And I deleted them with no hesitation. You know, even though you put so much work, effort, time in those videos, like editing it, coming up with the ideas, the clothes, the makeup, like that stuff is hard work. It look easy like a video just thrown out there, but it's not. It's a lot of work in these little videos or whatever. But I went head on and I deleted it. Because I felt that I wasn't applying with the um, the community guidelines and stuff like that. You know, I'm an honest person. I feel like I wasn't complying with those. So those videos are deleted off of my channel. All these videos that y'all see on my channel now had all the green lines. But I think what probably pissed them off is... That video with the red lips, I had got it. I pressed review so that it can get reviewed by a higher um YouTube person that looks at the video and review them. And I guess that made them mad or whatever like that. But, like, right, come on now. I try my hardest to apply by all the community guidelines and stay. And, you know, this last, um even the last lingerie haul that I just did with the right white robe on had the green dollar sign but my makeup look had the yellow sign i'm like what the hell like i feel like i'm just getting picked with like at this point like i feel like i'm just getting picked with or whatever like that and even in that haul i was covered up you know like if i didn't back then i would have came out with just the straight lingerie on but I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? And I'm staying in the guidelines because I have read them. You know what I'm saying? I read them all the time. So for none of my videos to have the red, I mean, the red thing on it, no age restrictions on it, no flags on it. And even the ones I had went live with my sister and it had um, some music in the background. They put a copyright claim on there. I deleted that. I had a video, um, it's my Christmas video, um, that I had, um, went shopping for my baby and stuff, and when I was in the store, I guess they heard some of the music in the background or something like that, they put a copyright claim on that, I deleted that, cause I, I'ma just re-edit it, y'all, I'm still sick, my nose is like stopped up, but, y'all was looking a hot mess at first, huh, <laughs> but y'all, like, no, serious, I'm not playing, they need to stop, like, Y'all just, like, YouTube, dear YouTube, like, I feel like y'all just bothering me. Like, y'all just labeling me as something that I'm not, you know, like, that's harsh. Like, sexual, I don't know if it say sex, sex gratifying content or sexual gratifying content. Either way it go, it's not me. Like, I don't be doing that. Like, None of my videos are telling someone how to have sex. I'm not talking nasty, like, underneath my clothes. Like, I'm not doing none of that. Like, and then they, like, they want our videos to be educated. But if you're trying on clothes and you telling them, this is a type of fabric. This is a cheap fabric. This is a nice fabric. The quality y'all should shop from them is worth it. Is it? You educating them on the clothes that you're wearing. So, it's probably not kid uh educational videos which is youtube have another new thing that they have going on which is you label your channel as based off kid content or not kid content is when you teaching kids like their abcs their colors like science like all that type of stuff and you 
you know, you labor, you like you um, mark your channel as that. I don't have my channel as that. You know, like if YouTube was all based on, um, like if YouTube was all just based on education and stuff like that, like people wouldn't be on YouTube like that. Like YouTube, like I joined YouTube because I thought that it was a, you know, a place that I can be open, you know, like helping women find things or, you know, like expressing myself, you know, something that'll keep me, um, <coughs> sorry, something that'll keep me, um, busy, something that I would like doing, which is I found out I love doing YouTube, you know, like, I wanted to try to make YouTube out of an occupation for myself, like invest all of my time, energy, and stuff in my um, YouTube channel, which is that was going to be one of my resolutions for 2020, but we see how 2020 is ending up already, so I'm not going to be able to invest all my time into YouTube because look what youtube do you can't you can't try to um invest all of your time into youtube and think that you're going to be successful just because things look like it's going as planned in the way that you want it to go because you can wake up the next morning and not be monetized so that means how you gonna pay your bills how you gonna take care of your family how you gonna buy food how you gonna buy clothes? How you gonna take care of your child? Like, how? You not? That's why I can't fully invest myself into the witches. This will be something that I would love to do and would love to invest my time in. Like, just have y'all in my life. Like, you know, like doing stuff that y'all like and stuff like that. But I can't do that. Because I wake up with no email. Just like I did whenever um, they took the monetization away. I still, today is um, December the 31st. Today is December 31st. I still don't have a YouTube from YouTube. I'm stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to be mad and can't. But stop laughing for real. Stop this serious. <clears throat> I still don't have a um, video from YouTube. Uh, my daughter. <laughs> stop for real, Crystal. This is not a playing moment. moment. Chill out. I still don't have an email from YouTube stating that they took my um, monetization away. So if y'all ask me, Crystal, when did they take your monetization away? I don't know. Because the day I found out was um, a day before Christmas. I found out they took my monetization away. A day before Christmas. A day before Christmas is when I found out, but I haven't been on YouTube since my last, since that uh, last look Christmas lingerie look. I haven't been on uh, YouTube ever since then. And then the next day I was going to be on YouTube was um, the day before Christmas when I tried to upload my Christmas video, my uh my Christmas shopping, and they was like, "Oh, guess what, Crystal? <laughs> You're not monetized anymore." <laughs> how do you like that? That's basically how I seem like YouTube uh, respond to me. Like, <laughs> you think that you're monetized still, Crystal Inc.? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We took that. And we don't care if you wasn't doing sexual gratifying content. We said you did. And what you going to do about it? And me, nothing. I ain't going to do nothing about it. Because I can't. I can't email them. Um, they took the little uh, help thing at the bottom of your YouTube channel away when they demonetized my channel so I can ask them, what is their problem? Like, I feel like, you know, like, I'm not doing any sexual gratifying content. Can I please speak with, you know, a person so that they can inform me and educate me on what I'm really doing wrong? You know, but you can't do that. Ouch. So, y'all, my can't. I have to cut my camera off real quick. But, yeah. You can um, contact YouTube. That's out the question. So, 
it's like I'm just stuck here waiting to see what they're gonna do you know like make up my mind like is this what I want to do do I want to continue to go through this harsh like experience that I'm going through or do I want to stop you know I want to keep doing it because y'all grew you know and y'all love me and stuff and I, I feel like I'll be selfish like if I don't do it because if y'all didn't see me, Stop. If y'all didn't see, I was so consistent this last time I was like posting, 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 posting. Honestly, I'm going to just let y'all in on my business. Honestly, when I did YouTube, it'll take me four, four to about six months to make $120. I was posting for y'all how I was posting for y'all. I, I Last time I looked at um, my balance on how much I made on my videos, I made like a hundred and thirty some dollars like less than two weeks. And that's because that what, that's how I was going to be. I was just saying like, I'm just going to go ahead and you know, put my all in my YouTube channel and see how it work. I was going to do it for a good year and see how it do. But this, like, this is the third time, y'all. I haven't had my YouTube channel for a whole year yet. I only been doing YouTube for, let me see. And y'all love me so much. I love y'all too. My, my channel still be going up by the day, but... And then they like, um, I'm going to show y'all the video on what they say. Y'all, I was so mad. Like, I had to watch my language. Okay, I've been doing YouTube for nine months. You see right there. that This is my first video. I've been doing YouTube for nine months. Nine months. They done took my monetization away three times. Like I said, I agree with them on the last times why they did it, but this time I don't. I don't get it. Like, mm -mm. and all of my videos are deleted. I had a lot of videos. But I'm going to um, end this video because I don't want to put too much time up in this because I don't like speaking negative about anyone, anything. And I just honestly don't have anything, like, good to say. Like, even though I'm so mad, like, I'm burning up in the inside. Like, I'm so aggravated. I'm just, I'm going to just handle the situation like the intelligent young lady that I am but I feel like I don't like to be labeled as no sexual gratifying content like that sounds so nasty like that sounds so trifling like ew like I don't like that but that's what YouTube feel is best to call somebody like I don't get it because I be seeing a lot of sexual gratifying content up on YouTube and I don't do that. Matter of fact, let me Google the definition of sexual gratifying content. Hey Siri. What does sexual gratifying content mean? Okay, I found this on the web for what does sexual gratifying content mean? Check it out. Okay, I'm going to click on sexual gratification. Sexual gratification is a need or want for sex from someone specific. If you haven't had sex with your spouse in a while, it's not about an orgasm. It's about special sexual gratification. Ew! Are y'all serious, YouTube? 
Now, I might get in trouble for reading that, but that's what they label me as. But I just educated someone on sexual gratification, also educating myself, so I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble about that or not. But that is not what I'm doing. Like, And I'm going to put it big as day when they say sexual grat gratifying content. Like, come on, bro. That is disgusting. Like, they say the lady named Sue, something like that. Because there's a lot of people on YouTube experiencing this same problem. Like, but their they content is about them cursing and stuff. They they label, they could have labeled me as cursing. <clears throat> Not trying to give y'all no ideas. Okay, let me go to another one. Ask Siri again. Hey Siri, what does sexual gratif gratifying content mean? Okay, I found this on the web for what does sexual gratification gratifying content mean? Check it out. You know I messed up. Let's click on this one. No, that's that's not even what we said, Siri. See, I'm about to take you off my phone. I'll just type it. Sexual gratifying content. Sisters over here, not all of them, but majority. Um, sexual gratification, instead of get sexual gratification versus love. Let's what? Let me just go here. Sexual gratification. Now it's saying the same thing. I'm for real, YouTube. Like y'all need to stop this. This is this is not nice. Like for real. Y'all know I'm not trying to. Watch my colleague, nobody up on YouTube, and my content is not based. I'm not saying, Oh, y'all, yes, I just want to, yes, let's just, yes, come on, let's just, yes, ew, that's disgusting. Like, I'm not on here doing it, y'all need to cut that out. Sexual gratifying. The answer to every question of how as insert activities here. Even if it was not sexual gratifying, you say it anyway. Calm, calm. This not even a definition. Hey, how was your math class? It was sexual it was sexually gratifying. Sexually just sound nasty. Okay, sexual gratification means a behavior act committed or uh, stimulated the sexual interests or desires of the actor or actors. Sexual gratification means sexual conduct as defined herein. Not me. I am not having, I don't have no type of sexual, um, sexual gratification behavior on YouTube. That's false. Like, come on, y'all are falsely accusing me. I'm not going to prolong this video no longer. I'm going to show y'all the next clip of my email stating that I didn't get no email. So I can't tell y'all when, um... When YouTube demonetized my video because I didn't get an email, I found out because I tried to upload a video and try to assert where I wanted my ads to be and they're telling me, boom. Your monetization has been deactivated. 
<laughs> but yeah, um, I'm going to show y'all that. And so I'm going to show y'all the emails, the community guidelines, them that they stating that I post sex or sexual gratifying content. And they say that I'll be able to apply again. And on January 21st, 2020, I think that's what it said. Or 22nd, 2020. I don't know. Y'all will see. And um, what else am I saying? Yeah. Um, they said, oh, that's another thing. They say I will be able to apply in January 22nd, 2020 if my subscribers, if I can maintain subscribers and content. How can I maintain subscribers and content when you don't have no ads in your videos you barely get exposure from YouTube. Like, so you won't even probably pop up. So if y'all don't see me on YouTube no more, that's because they done buried me at the very, very, very bottom of a million and one, uh, a million and one YouTubers. So y'all probably won't be able to find my channel anymore. So that's why it's very important for y'all to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell. Hit the bell. Why am I talking so much stuff? That's why it's very important for y'all to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that y'all can be notified when I post. Because you never know, you might, y'all probably don't even see this video because I have looked up other YouTubers on um, their channel being demonetized. They have like four, 473K, you know, um, subscribers. But this video of them talking about them getting demonetized and don't have anything but probably about 47K. Out of all their videos, their, their one is the lowest, you know, the lowest view video. So, like I said, y'all subscribe to my other channel, uh, Dramatic Crystal. Um, um, I will, I don't know if I'm going to be able to insert that at the end of this video, but if I if I am able to do that, I will. But right now, the YouTube uh, channel is Dramatic Crystal. Y'all go subscribe to that channel and hit the bell. That channel is also linked with this channel. Like, I just made another channel from the same channel. So, hopefully, don't nothing happen to that channel. That's another thing. I have nothing but negative people they're subscribed to my channel you know so they might be uh flagging my videos to youtube or whatever like that you know which is youtube sure youtube need to do their little investigation and see if it's the same person that's you know falsely flagging my videos and stuff like that because i can't report them for flagging my video because i don't know who they is but youtube know who they are you know but it's just like i mean a hole and I don't even know how I got myself there I didn't even do anything but yeah I feel the need to come and tell y'all because y'all well does y'all deserve it and y'all well appreciate it and I love y'all if it wasn't for y'all I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing you know I know that y'all love me and I know that y'all know that I love y'all that's why I continue to try to go strong for you guys but Stop making me like. I am not like. I'm brown sugar sexy. <laughs> With a little bit of honey. That's it. But yeah. If y'all. um, If y'all. Yeah I feel the need to come back to y'all. I'm sorry y'all. I be getting sidetracking. I think be forgetting sometimes what I talk about but yeah I love y'all so so very much I have to continue um, with my day and um let's pray to God fingers crossed that we get monetized again and that this will be the last time that it happens I love y'all so so very much kisses Mwah. <laughs>
and they never removed the thumbnail none of that they never put an age restrictions on none of my recent videos or none of my videos that I already have so I don't understand here's what we consider when we'll be removing these comments where the breast blood tells us when the clothes are not closed and I don't violate none of these right here, so I don't understand what they're saying. Like, really, I really don't understand. I wish that I can talk to somebody, but I can't. Because it's not nobody that you can really talk to to get a full understanding on what's going on. Like, this is crazy. Like, I feel like I'm just getting picked with, like, bothered. <coughs> yeah, I'm so lost. Like, if I'm overlooking anything or if I don't see it, could y'all just tell me down in the comments so that I can know what I'm doing? Because obviously I don't see the problem that, you know or I'm overlooking it or something so if y'all can be some genuine people and honest people just comment down below in the um comments what I might be doing wrong please let me know because this is crazy I ex I absolutely don't see it like now I agreed with them the last time with that lingerie haul that I did um the very first time they disabled my monetization and that twerking video that I did, that's why I deleted it and all the other ones that I found that was inappropriate. But now, uh-uh, baby, I've been doing everything good. Like, y'all just bothering me. We could have, um, not eligible for ads on that, uh, makeup video that I did, that Christmas makeup video I did with those DIY red sparkly lips, the lipstick. And I had... Uh, requested um, a review up on that you know so that they can review it to see that I didn't do nothing wrong and when they reviewed it they put the monetization back on there and now that was yesterday and now today it's like they took the monetization away like okay let's go to my gmail so that y'all can see I didn't get, and I, I faithfully check my emails and stuff because, you know, I be having collabs and stuff. Okay, so this is the only one that I received from YouTube, and that was this Christmas vlog that I just uploaded today. And I had muted the music in that, right? So, y'all can go through. If you see your name right here saying that you subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate you guys, and I really love y'all. Thank you so very much. But look, we're looking for YouTube to say something about monetization. Okay, YouTube subscriber, subscriber, sub babes. That's a um, live video. Subscriber, subscribe, subscribe. This a live one. We gonna just go to the twenty second. Um, subscriber, this is a live live. This is a comment, as y'all see, comment, subscribe, mm. comment, comment, subscriber, subscriber, comment, subscriber. Okay, y'all see this. This is a reply, comment, subscriber, 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 subscriber. Subscriber live, um, live comment. Subscriber, subscriber, subscriber. Here we are on December the twentieth. So y'all don't see no videos notify me that I have did anything wrong. Y'all don't see nothing that say an age restriction has been put on none of my videos or none of that. So now to be more specific, I'm going to go to YouTube monetization. You know to see if they text me something right here which is was yesterday 
um, which is was yesterday, and this is the um, beautiful, easy, cheap makeup look that I had did, the DIY cheap makeup look that I did that I told y'all that they put um, a non-advertisement -ad up on their video. I had requested that for it to get um, reviewed by a YouTube partner, a higher YouTube partner. Y'all see that it say, your video is suitable for our advertisement. Y'all, they do this for every single last one of my videos, like every single last one of my videos. And I go right back and get them reviewed, you know, because they be like, it's a YouTube automatic um, type of um, thing that uh, look through it. So if you want a person to review, you know, a person over YouTube to review your videos all you got to do is press review so if, if y'all don't see what this say all of this say YouTube videos your YouTube video is suitable for our advertising your video is suitable for our advertising and this one right here I deleted this one because this was you see what they say it says September. Y'all remember they had took all of my um, stuff away, right? So this one, um, this one was for, um, this one they reviewed it and said that it only had limited on there. Limited or no ads. But all the rest of these on down say that they're suitable. So the ones that say limited or no uh no ads, I just went ahead on and deleted those. And this one right here was a conversation of me and my husband talking, you know, giving advice to women how to keep your husband happy because a female had requested that in my comments and I did it. So yeah guys, I'm just gonna be like chilling. Um y'all gonna make sure that y'all go subscribe to my other channel, Dramatic Crystal. And um once I get this taken care of or whatever, I give y'all an update. Like I said, I don't know what I done wrong, so I don't know what to delete. But hopefully, um on the um, 20th, the 22nd, I believe, of next month. The, yeah, the 22nd of next month. I'll um, give y'all an update to see where we go from there. But this sexual grat um, gratifying content, I'm lost. Like, I really am. I don't know if I'm going to, um, I don't know what to do. So, like I said, if y'all see anything that I'm overlooking or anything like that, just comment it down below. And I'll take heed in it, and I appreciate y'all so much. But for now, go subscribe to my other channel, Dramatic Crystal. And once I hit 1K over there, I will start uploading content. Until this is taken care of, I'm going to be missing in action again. I'm sorry, y'all. I love y'all so much. But this is stressful. But y'all can follow me on Instagram at crystal underscore underscore Gemini. I post on there like almost every day. I love y'all. Kisses. Mwah.